Hello, I'm Keith Hilson with the Schmidt Music Trombone Shop back with another accessory review for you. And today I've got a couple of new offerings from Protex, specifically two new mute bags. So we know that in the trombone world, mute storage transportation is kind of a pain in the butt. I've always been very envious of my trumpet colleagues who can fit you know, all of the mutes that they need for any kind of performance into one little bag. We know on the trombone end, that's just not possible. Um, and so I've seen any number of different solutions I myself have used and used backpacks, messenger bags, duffel bags uh, for this. But of course, there are some commercial offerings out there. Um, and what Protec has done, of course, we know Protec from their cases as well as a number of their other accessory offerings. Um, Protec has had another mute bag available in the past. And I think you know, for the price, I think it was, you know, it was a nicely constructed bag, some features. However, these new ones here, specifically the M406 and M407, I think have got some really, really nice features that do put them a step above and I think give us a lot of options. So we're going to take a little bit closer look at these uh, mute bags and see exactly what we've got going on with them. All right, so here again, we've got our two mute bags. Um, now these are specifically designed more with tenor mutes in mind, but as you see, I think they'll absolutely work for bass options as well. Um, so with this, um, Protec does have a four mute and a six mute option. So the four mute here, the M406, uh, this measures in at about um, round about you know 16 inches by 15 by about 15 inches tall. The uh, six mute option comes in about 24 inches here by 15 by about 15 inches tall. You know, and in both cases here, we've got really a lot of the same features here. You know, we've got what they call the 1680 ballistic fabric. This is the Cadora Cordura style fabric that they use in a lot of their products. You know, uh, very, very, uh, you know, it tends to be, you know, water repellent to an extent. It tends to be, you know, really, really tough, durable, tear resistant. Um, we've got on both of these here, three storage pouches here, one in the front, and one on either side here as well. Um, and so, I mean, a lot of possibilities there for what you can, you know, store inside of those here in the front pouch. And again, with the uh, larger, the six mute option, it's exactly the same. Uh, we do have a a smaller storage area. Uh, Protec likes to include this on a lot of their cases and everything. So you've got a smaller storage pouch for you know a lot of your oils and greases, for your pencils, always important to have a pencil. Um, and then both of these do come with shoulder straps as well. So we've got a handle up on top here. We've got the shoulder straps. And then actually what's kind of nice is on the back side, there is actually a built-in handle here as well. So you can just grab it like that if you need. So now in both cases here, of course, the, uh, the handle on Velcro's like that. And then we are going to open up the inside here. Like so and like so. Now, um, Protec has been doing, obviously for a while, a lot of modular work. Um, their iPad cases um, have been using movable pads for a while, and actually their previous iteration of these mute bags as well also had a similar idea. So the idea here is that you've got these dividers. So the exterior is a little bit firmer. This does have some padding. It's not hard, um, but there is a little bit more firmness. And inside, it does have these a little bit stiffer pads. To me, it feels like probably some type of fiber material um, that is, of course, padded and uh, fabric covered. And all of these just Velcro. And so you really have a lot of flexibility about exactly what you want this to look like. Now, in both of these cases, I tried to do these up evenly, you know, so we kind of have even spacing. But, you know, depending on exactly what your storage, your mute needs were, of course, I could see you could move around these however you wanted. So in this case, obviously, we've got, in theory, room for four mutes. And in this case, we've got for room for six mutes here. So I grabbed a, a variety of uh, different mute sizes for tenor just to see how all of this fits here. So we've got, you know, kind of our standard metal mute, which fits, of course, beautifully inside of there. Um, we've got, you know, our standard tenor cup mute with the um, movable cup, and that fits wonderfully inside of here. Um, we do have, you know, I grabbed a bubble mute, which of course has got plenty of room there. Um, and I wanted to grab, you know, probably the, you know, one of the largest tanner mutes that we have to deal with, uh, specifically the bucket mute. And so I think especially in a little larger spot there, 
I mean, it fits absolutely no problem at all. And frankly, all of these, again, we can see inside our six mute option. I mean, boy, everything is fitting in there really nicely. And it's, it's you know, they're, I think they're fairly protected. There's not a lot of moving around, but I mean, there's, there's plenty of space for all of them here. Um, and like I mentioned, I think there is room for base mutes as well. So I grabbed a couple of base mute options here. Um, so we've got, you know, a base cup mute. And again, some of the stuff might mean, well, you've got to move stuff around a little bit, you know, so we maybe have to move a pad here. You know, so I would say, you know, stuff like this, you could probably fit, you know, a cup mute like this. You could probably fit a couple mutes in something like this. I would bet that you could probably fit three base mutes of that size in here. Um, you know, we have a couple of different uh, base straight mutes here, uh, which fits, you know, wonderfully in there. Um, I grabbed one of the Marcus Bona, uh, you know, fiberglass uh, straight mutes here because that's got a little bit bigger profile. And that fits really nicely in there as well. And, you know, given the size of this, I would say, you know, the base bucket mutes, you're going to be able to fit a couple in here. Again, probably two or three in this as well. And so, again, and, and a lot of customization options with all that. So you can really design the size to what you need, which I think is really, really great. With all that said, there are, a, you know, one, two other really cool features that I do like with these. And one of the biggest ones... is actually right on top here. Specifically, built-in mute holders. So the idea here is that if you're in a performance situation, you can have your whole mute bag and you can have everything in place and you can just put your mutes in place there and have everything to go for easy access. I think there are opportunities where that could be really, really cool. Now, I'm thinking, again, from a, a performance standpoint, um, you know, I know what kind of spaces I perform in, and a lot of times there's not a lot of excess room. So I'm not always sure, you know, how much I would actually be able to do to accommodate a bag, you know, of the size here. But in general, I think um, the concept is really, really great. Um, so the top here is a fairly stiff fabric, and of course, you know, you can zip the top back in so it's not going to go anywhere you know and again as you can see i mean there's plenty of room for all of the mutes here which i again i think it's a really really handy feature um you know a nice little bonus with all of this the other nice thing with having this compartment up on top and actually protect highlights it is that you have a built-in um you know pouch here area to store music for example one of the big questions i get about with cases in general like instrument cases is does it have enough room to keep my music in and honestly there are not a whole lot of trombone cases out there that have storage in place that's going to be big enough to hold you know even eight and a half by eleven let it go alone more like your folios and folio size here but in these cases here again your four mute option you know that should definitely be able to hold you know a you know eight and a half by eleven with this i would bet you'd probably be able to you'd be close to fitting a folio size. It might be a little short here, but I think it'd be really, really close. And so you've got a little bit of that, but again, that mute holder concept, I think is really, really, really interesting. I think, again, a nice little feature. And it's got all of the other, you know, pro tech, um, you know, built-in ideas here. You know, all of the zippers, everything look really positive. Um, all of the straps are really stitched in. So for example, with the uh, the holding straps here, the straps, I mean, it's stitched all the way down to the bottom, which means that as you're holding through, you're not going to have any of this, um, the straps stitching, pulling out. You're not going to have to worry about that because it's all really, really held in place really solidly. So at the end of the day, I think just like a lot of other stuff that Protec does, I think these are really, really well thought out options. I think they've built a ton of features into them. Um, I think, you know, for the person, you know, looking for a little bit more substantial storage transportation solution uh, for their mutes, um, I, I think these have got a lot of upside. You know, as part of this, we do see a little bit higher price. You know, we're looking anywhere from about $110 for the four mute option to $140 thereabouts for the six mute option. Um, so it's, you know, it's certainly not gonna be for everybody. Um, I don't know that I myself am gonna be going out today and picking up one of these here, um, but 
I, I think, again, for a lot of folks, I think there is really a lot of upside. And I think it you know, does a nice job of protecting mutes, especially, you know, expensive mute options. You know, we've got the storage built into it. There, There's a lot of really great things going on with it. And, again, I, I'm always really impressed with what Protect does. They don't tend to make bad products a whole lot. And I think these are another really good example of that. So, as always, I appreciate you checking out this video. If you have any thoughts or questions about these mute bags, or if you have other mute bags that you you've used, we, I would invite you to share those questions or comments in our comments below here. We'd love to hear about that and share them with our wider viewer community. Um, if you like the video, consider giving up a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please think about subscribing to our channel, hitting that notification button so you can hear and find out when we've got new videos coming out to you. And as always, you can check us out on Facebook and Instagram. So thank you very much as always for watching.